Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to thank all of you for uh, subscribing to our channel and uh, watching us in the news. Um, my son and I are uh, the ones who are basically 3D printing a full-size car. Um, it's based on the Lamborghini Aventador. Um, and you've seen some of the other videos that uh, uh, show this. Um, so basically what we want it to do is we want to, again, thank you guys for uh, taking the time to watch our videos and subscribe to our channel. Um, we're going to try to make some more professional looking videos, ones where I'm not holding my cell phone camera. Um, but that's kind of what we got for now. Um, anyway, uh, a quick tour of, uh, I've read some of the comments, 99.9% uh, .9 of the comments have been very, very positive, and uh, we do thank you for that. Um, so the reason this project got started was uh, my son and I were uh, working on uh, doing a video game uh, on our Xbox, and we really liked the uh, Aventador. It was just a beautiful car. It was fast. It was cool. Um, and that's when my son uh, got interested in uh, possibly having us build one. Um, I've been a been kind of a gearhead for you know since I was twelve. It was in motorcycles I started, and then uh, we started doing. Uh, cars. Um, I've built many uh, uh, cars and engines in my life. Um, I uh, started with a uh, Pontiac Firebird. It was my first car. It was a real piece of crap, but you know, it uh, it was my first car. So you know, we did a lot of work on it, and then my buddy Trevor uh, really helped me out a lot uh, with that. Uh, then uh, there was a big uh, lag. I owned X19, I owned some trucks and uh, some other cars, but really uh, it didn't uh, become a thing um, until recently, about uh, 2013, we started a uh, 69 Mustang uh, project. Uh, that went quite well. Uh, it kind of went off the rails because I tried to twin charge it and uh, I probably should have just left it alone. But I'm a physicist, and I like building stuff, and I like trying new things. Um, a lot of what goes in on this car is uh, trial and error. Um, I'm not saying that I'm a professional car builder. It's quite the contrary. Um, I actually I build lasers for a living, so that's uh, effectively what I do all day long, uh, except for an hour a day we work on this kind of thing. Um, so... Had a lot of good positive response, uh, had a lot of good press lately. Um, I want to, you know, do a call out to uh, the, uh, all the, the 3D uh, media network that uh, actually started this whole thing. Um, and we've gone as far as uh, the New York Post, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so we're really proud of this project. The whole goal of this is uh, for educational uses. Um, we want to show kids how cool technology is. We want to show them that uh, there's still a lot of uh, art and uh, trade work that needs to be done in this world um, and that goes into a project like this. Um, you know, we have to do electronics, we have to do uh, body work, we have to do mechanics, we have to do uh, just about anything you can think of with a project like this, it's just, it's incredibly inv involved. Um, we were originally going to go with uh, a metal uh, uh, shell, uh, which would not have made this all that interesting, I think. So going with the 3D printing has really uh, turned up the uh, value of this project in my eye. We're going to uh, finish this car. And then we're going to take it around to the local schools. And uh, we're going to show kids uh, how cool uh, technology is and science and math. Um, and also art. So don't forget that there's a lot of artwork that goes into this type of thing. 
Um, we actually did our own spin on a lot of the panels. Like this is a wide body. Um, so it's four inches wider than the standard uh, Aventador. Um, we had to uh, Frankenstein in a whole bunch of parts. I mean, the radiators themselves are actually off a of Honda Civic. Um, the fans are from a 911 uh, Porsche, uh, same as the transaxle uh, that we put in the system. So um, we're using things like, you know, off the shelf components like Willwood brakes. Um, you can see front and rear. Uh, these are 15s on the front, the 14s are on the rear. Um, we also have an interior uh, where we've basically got um, a glass panel display. We're going to use all digital switches. Uh, you can see here that we have a Dakota digital um, dash, which was custom made for this car. It goes up to 400 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Um, and then we've got a uh, glass dash where we're going to put all the digital switches and whatnot. Um, the big thing is, is that this is actually going to be a manual transmission. So six speed transmission. Um, hope y'all like the uh, Terminator head that we have for the shift knob. That's kind of cool. Of course, 3D printed. Um, the housing for the switch is 3D printed. Um, the actual steering wheel is from Audi, um, so we do have a lot of Audi components on here. Lamborghini owns Audi, I believe. So, um, and then we have you know uh, standard pedals and whatnot. Uh, we have some 3D printed uh, vents that we're using. These are printed in ASA. Um, most of the parts are printed like this uh, dash shroud, which is actually in PLA. That's when we take the parts, we glue them together with an MMA epoxy, and then what we do is we skin it in carbon fiber. This one will actually be skinned in carbon fiber and blue Kevlar, uh, which should make it pop uh, quite a bit. Originally, we were going to leave the carbon fiber bare uh, panels. Uh, the big problem with that is, is that there's bumps and warbles and all sorts of things because I'm not great at body work. Um, so anyway, uh, we're going to paint the car Arctic white with uh, black, accent, black accents and blue Kevlar accents. So um, that should be pretty, pretty nice. Uh, the seats are going to be all in leather, leather interior. Uh, we're going we're gonna to make it pretty classy. Um, so... Uh, we're going to try to do a good job on most of these things where we're not experts. Um, so we'll take comments and, and uh, constructive criticism. Thank you. Um, so some more tours. We're going with the um, actually cantilevered suspension system. Um, so we kind of uh, designed our own. Uh, will it work? Well, we'll see. You know, that's the beauty of a project like this, right? We can take risks. Uh, we can try things out. We're not going to jump in this thing and go 200 miles an hour right off the bat. It's going to be a process. Uh, so we're going to learn a lot. Um, and uh, we'll see if, you know, it shakes and rattles and, and vibrates apart and stuff like that. Uh, we obviously don't want that to happen, but you never know, right? Um, one of the other things is, is that you can see... These panels are quite hard. Hmm. Well, it's carbon fiber and epoxy, so it should be pretty good, right? Well, the nice thing about that is, is that we've done some testing. Being a scientist, uh, that makes it kind of easy to uh, do this kind of testing. So let me bring you out to our fancy schmancy test facility, which is the Colorado Sunshine. Okay? So... It gets up to about uh, 35, 37 centigrade, uh, 9,700 degrees Fahrenheit uh, in the summer sun. Uh, we are also at about uh, 5,800 feet uh, in elevation, uh, therefore the sun is more intense. Um, uh, we also have 20% less oxygen, so maybe that's why we're a little nuts. But anyway, uh, this is our fancy test facility. Here is a... Ugh, 
a piece that we did. We decided to go with a different type of uh, rear end, the SV instead of the standard one. And this bugger's been sitting out here for about six months in the Colorado sun. Uh, it's seen high temperatures, it's seen cold temperatures, and it hasn't deflected. So this was really our experiment to figure out if we could do this kind of work and if it would be practical. So, so we've done that. Um, so that's great. Uh, we've done our testing, we've done some high heat testing. Uh, we found that the epoxy just burns when you put it under flame. Uh, so we do have to be cognizant of that. We're gonna have some issues here uh, with the exhaust, so we'll have to do good shielding there. And hey, if we melt a panel, we print another one. So that's the other beauty of this kind of thing uh, is we don't have to have molds. Um, this is a one-off project. It's mainly for education um, and to go to some car shows and uh, kind of show it off. So anyway, stay tuned to the channel. Again, thank you very much for uh, subscribing. Um, I hope to add content uh, as much as I possibly can because I know that uh, a lot of you are interested in this project. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll do some videos once we get it on the road, obviously, and running and uh, taking it out to the local schools. And, uh, you know, the kids are going to say, ooh, cool, Lamborghini, right? Well, that's going to draw them in, and then that's going to allow us to show them all of the technology and cool things that uh, went into uh, building a project like this. So... Thanks again. Uh, we'll see you soon.